Well, it starts this week and it is going to get ugly. We have earnings. We have lines that I have drawn in the sand for a year. I've said once we've crossed that line, it is all downhill from here. Cue the fire. But we have loans are crashing right now. Crashing like never seen before. Bankruptcies. Worse than the pandemic. Like you thought that was bad where they just wiped out 50% of small businesses. Oh no, this is more worse, sir. Actually, bankruptcies hit a 12 year high. So put, put that one in your sippy cup and suck it. And bank accounts are being closed at Chase. So if you're happen to be in New York and you're like, what happened? What happened to my bank account? Yeah, you better have a plan B. And a lot of market economists, uh, analysts are predicting a, let me get this right, 74% correction in the housing market. I don't know why you just didn't round up 75. Eh, okay, and a 45% correction in the stock market. So it looks like the housing market, no, the stock market will beat the housing market. So sell your house and go into the housing market because you're or the stock market, you only lose 45%. I know a lot of you are like, take Easter off, man, take a day off. Guys, I love doing what I'm doing. I, 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 I really do. I love Easter and I love telling you that this whole thing is burning down. And my prayer for you this year is that you will find something to do that you just love doing. It's not work. It, this is not never, never work. <laughs> I just, I dig it. I dig you guys. Thank you for the comments in the comments section. I love you guys. I really appreciate, thanks for letting me come. <laughs> Hang out with you. Ah, on Easter. Credit crunch arrives. Bank lending crashes by most on record. J just, just think about this. Credit crunch. That, that's, you, you know, the economy is only built on credit because it's a debt-based system. So when you say, hey, I want a loan. Hey, that's an economy. I know. Crazy way to say that is what an economy is. But that's an economy. And you also have like lending, right? That's the, and, and the, the banks actually aren't even lending to one another. Oh my gosh, because they know what's happening. But that is okay. Banks lending crashes by most on record in the last two weeks of March. And here, let me move myself over here for you. This, okay, look, look, normal, normal loans, normal, normal, normal. Let me, uh, let me move it. Let's move it. You got to move it, move it. You got to move it. Look, 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 look. That was what? What year was that? See, now I'm like, that was like 70s, 1970s. Oh, looky over there. That beats absolutely everything by a long shot and we've just begun. And now let me Casper myself and show you large and small bank total loans and leases. All right, so we're going all the way back to January, 2020. All right, uh, that's that was good, right? Lock them all down, release them. Everything's good. Uh, that would be right, right over here. See that? See my little, my little teeny black thing. Uh, oh, yeah, yep. I did say that. Um, and then oh, look, 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 look. Uh oh, uh oh, spaghettio. And then I got another one for you. Large and small bank total loans and leases weekly changes month over month. Uh, we got going all the way back. We got total large bank loans and leases and small bank. So we got red is small bank. Uh, blue is in big bank. Okay. This is, this is good. This is good over here. Now that's bad. Uh, this, this over, down over here, that, that's horrific. But not as horrific is when you start seeing the commercial real estate market. That thing of 20 trillion is going to, that's the juggernaut. Take it all down. Oh my goodness. But surprisingly, it was real estate loans that saw the biggest decline at almost 40 billion. Now, I also know people that do loans. Some of my best friends do loans and they say it's getting bad. When I mean bad, I'm talking about you go for a loan and they're like, okay, do you have an 850 credit score? Oh no. Okay. Sorry. Oh, but wait, hold on one thing. There's one other thing. Is it an all cash loan? Yes. You have all cash, all the money. Okay. Then we can do it. Then why do I need a loan? Ah, April Fools, you see you don't. You see, you should have listened to Dave Ramsey and just paid cash for everything in a debt-based system. But now coming in from small bank loans, we got small bank, small bank, small, we got real estate, others, CNI, consumer, all the way over. Yep, here we go again. See that? That is one ugly mother. It's there is no such thing as an ugly mother because 
it's a mother. Also, here is another problem that the banks are facing is that's with reserves. And you guys keep moving your their reserves out of their bank account that they think is your bank account. But anyways, you loaned them the money and then they decide to do what they want. There is a, uh, and, and the Fed says, we don't have a reserve constraint. Oh, oh yes, you do. Uh, 2020, do you guys see this right here? Uh, you, you don't want to you, you don't want to go there. Uh, we went there in uh, in 2020, and we went there again uh, last month. All right, so that is where the problems arise. Well, that would be you moving your digits, but it's actually the Fed's fault because hey, if I could get a money market at X Y Z amount, why would I leave it in the bank? Actually, the banks are kind of a shady little game. If you would just ask me, you ask me, uh, it's a shady little game. Actually, the entire system's a shady little Ponzi game. Uh, banks, how about this one? Banks are closing customer accounts. I, I said that with little explanation. And this was actually, uh, let me uh, control F, type in Chase. Uh, but when he returned home that mid-December evening, uh, he called his bank Chase and uh, they, they had dumped him as a customer. I guess he had some unexpected activity like buying Bitcoin or something. When by the way, he had no, no kinds of warnings, no red flags, just poof. So maybe that bond market is looking pretty good. Maybe even crypto is looking pretty good, but the credit crunch has started. That's a recession, okay? That's when, but Bravo, the market went up today, right? Okay, all right, hold your breath. <laughs> that is, this is our economy. Our economy is, well, or if the government just, you know, everyone gets money, right? Oh, look at our GDP. Everyone gets a hundred trillion dollars of stimulus. Yeah, look at this. We're we're the best nation on earth. The credit crunch has started. Here's what tighter lending standards. Oh, I can't get a loan, right? Because the banks don't. They know what's we're going into. Mean for American consumers and businesses as banks navigate. Well, it's not the SVB wreckage. It's just. This is what we're in. We're in market cycles, and that is because yes, you have central planners and central banks and all the all the people. They they go, oh no, we can't do this. We don't want to kick the can, so let's just give the people money. Oh, that's going to be a problem. Well, welcome to the problem. And your solution will be hyperinflation. That's great. Oh, and by the way, yes, you can take advantage of all of this. You just have to be a little bit smarter or a day earlier than the dumb guy or, or girl or whatever you want to call yourself. U.S. corporate bankruptcy filings hit 12-year high in the first two months of 2023. I thought that was strong. The economy was strong as hell. I mean, this is bigger than the vid. 12-year high. Bankruptcies. Corporations. But bravo, the market went up today. I say don't hold your breath, Skyler. Mo oh, hold on. No, 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 I just, you know I use your name as, as an idiot. Okay, all right, thanks. Multi-tenant apartment building sales drop 74%. Maybe we should go buy some. Oh, I mean, heck, if it's dropped 74%, the most since 2008. I love that year. And I say, you think multi-tenant apartment buildings is gonna be bad? You wait until you see all those office buildings. Like, you know, you go to New York and you're like, wow, who's in all those buildings? I, I ask myself. And then I look and I'm like, there's no lights on in there. But I do think we might have a solution for homeless. We could put them all in those, right? Problem solved. So yesterday I did a video on commercial real estate because I tried to help you. How can you make money from this? I'm like, short these guys. Crazy. That's, that's what you do. I actually have a commercial real estate. It's ETFs. It's a, like a watch list. And all you have to do, you just have to learn to click the button and then click sell and you make money going down. So if you were to, at the beginning of AWRE, click sell, you would be up, not down, 87.32%. But Bravo, look, today it went up 1%. Yes, I understand, Skylar, but you're down almost 90%. And actually, if I zoom in on this chart, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it for you. I just don't, I don't want to leave it on my paper trade because I like doing the, the s and I actually want to take a short out on that. Do you see 189? Right now we're at 187. So we're going to go 188, all right, because I say if it hits that one, we're going to, look, do you see it's on the 200 it bangs its head on it. Guess where it's going to go after that? Watch me take out a trade. This is how easy it is. You click sell, even though I don't have it. 
and I click the button right there. And you can actually connect TradeStation. They'll give you 150 bucks. Link in the description. That's what I'm using. Watch, watch me, watch me do it. Ta-da! That little thing pops up over there. Sell one Nasdaq at, at a buck 88 limit because I want a limit. And that's it. And tomorrow when the market's open, it goes in. Now, if it goes above that blue line and it finds support, also, my my, it's it's east today only. 297. That's probably one of the cheapest besides my, you know, when I when I'm launching a course, right, and filming it, that that's my cheapest. This is my second cheapest ever. So if you want my swing trading, my bear market, my my Amazon, my crypto, any of them, you can cherry pick whatever you want. 297 today Easter only. And then hopefully your account numbers will go up rather than down. But that's it. I just made a trade. Ta-da! Bravo, when would you exit that? Well, I would exit probably down, down here I, when I I knew that would be support, okay? Right down there, well, whatever. But uh, let's say it goes up. You, you'll you lose money if it goes up, just FYI. If it gets too high above that little blue line and finds support, I'm gonna exit. But if I zoom back in the chart and look at the last time, this was uh, February, look, couldn't get above it, couldn't get above it, couldn't get above it. And and it's all gone. So here we go. You guys want to try again? All right, we'll, we'll we'll try again. Can't get above it. Can't get above it. And Bravo makes lots of money. And I actually need to put in a short on the S&P 500 on the channel on Monday. Again, unless it does something like that, well then I have to exit. But these are these are lower these are lower highs, kids. High, lower high, lower high. You, you guys getting it? And then if it breaks the 200 down below, oh Papa Bravo make even more money. And then you break that little line right there. That's another confirmation. And this is what I do all day long with these probabilities. I'm like, I got an 80% probability. Yes, I could be out, but it's okay. I, you, you roll the dice enough times at 51%. And Vegas knows these odds. They need to be 51%, you 49. You play enough, you lose all your money. Same thing with me. Here's Bitcoin, by the way. You have, again, resistance up here. Can't get above it. It's flat. You have negative, for those of you that don't trade, you're like, what are you even talking about? The MACD is going this way. That means Bitcoin should at some point soon drop, just like it did here, drop, drop. So for those of you that are waiting for moon, this is probably not your day. Uh, it might not happen today. It might not happen tomorrow, but I'm telling you, it, it there's only so much gasoline in those jetpacks of Bitcoin. And whether it's Bitcoin or whatever, uh, guys, in well, Bitcoin doesn't have earnings this week, so you don't have to worry about it. Inflation and bank earnings, uh, that's this week. But again, just don't, don't worry about earnings, okay? Just, just wash that video aside. What you need to be doing is just following the charts. And I cannot guarantee anything, but I could pretty much almost guarantee. See that white line? You cross that, this is where what the Fed does really affects earnings. Well, it has for the last hundred years. Again, maybe, you know, one in a hundred, I'm wrong on this one. If you've been on my channel long enough, you know, I called SV. That was even in my watch list. Take advantage also, my bear market watch list before I bump it to 30. It was in there. I said, I'm short in this thing. Ah, look, over 300 bucks. Now gone, zero. And you make money going down. And then on this channel, I go, I go this. This is where I put in a short. This is where I put in a buy. That's where I put in a short. That's where I, right there. That's where you put in a buy. Short, buy, and guess what? I'll be putting in a short again. And if I do that going back, and I'm kind of cherry picking, whatever. I mean, it's close, but it's I'm up about over 12 months, 60, 61%, whatever. Okay, I'm up 10%. I don't care. You're like, that's false average. What? Give me 5%. Uh, S&P down 9%. I mean, it really doesn't take too many rocks in the brain to beat the S&P 500, which everyone's, I, I can't get, get these financial analysts. They're like, gosh, we can't beat it. Hard looking at all these charts down on this floor. Guys, you, again, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about the earnings. You don't have to worry about the Fed. You don't have to worry about anything. Just learn the charts. That's it. The charts will tell you what the Fed's going to do, which I've showed you. The Fed follows the two year yield. That's it. And they're behind the curve. Once again, so what does that mean? It means everything's going to get really bad, okay? Just like they were behind the curve last time. I'm like, boy, they got a lot of catching up to do. Well, there you go. The biggest increase since ever of the Fed. And I said that they would do it. Well, now you're going to have the biggest drop. It's, it's, they're, they're going to have to catch falling knives. I just say, just cut the parachute. Just see if you can catch me. Investors view corporate earnings season as next test 
for stocks. Again, stocks will go up and they will go down. Take advantage of that. So do this. If you ever see that little E, that is earnings. Okay, they actually do. In my swing trading and bear market course, I say prior to the E, you, you need to exit. I mean, you're probably, you're again, you're just rolling the dice and I just don't want you to go, oh my gosh, what happened? Take, take for example, AMD, okay? Uh, there, there was your earnings and it shot up, but sometimes it shoots down. Now, what you can do right after earnings, you can exit back in, okay? Now we're following a trend. Or you just like, that was my trade, kind of kind of like, look, look at AMD. I'm gonna use AMD for example. This was in my uh, a bear market watch list. Um, that, that was a channel. Do you see that orange thing? It drops below the 200 and now we're in a channel going up, right? Swing trade and going down and going up and going down. And guess what it's gonna do next? Go up <laughs> and then it gets above the 200. Look, 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 Linda, we're above. Okay, now you wanna retest just what I was showing you, retest, and now you can enter. Yay, we're out of the channel. That's good, that's bullish, but you were just negative, you were bare. See, no one can understand that. It's either, are you for the Rams or are you against the Rams? No, I trade the Rams. I'm like, hey, hey, you wanna go over to you know New Jersey or something? We'll sell you over there. Chicago, you guys need a team over there? Okay, you can have the Rams. But once you get that and you find support on the 200, now I'm gonna put in a buy. Well, let's see what happens after you put in a buy. Oh, it goes higher. Now, if you are an advanced trader, like in my bear market, see bear market course, I teach you all these little things. See, I saw it right away. Um, you see a head, I put a head right there. Uh, okay, that, that could be the shoulder, see? See the shoulder of the guy's head? That's the left shoulder to my eyes. If it's flipped, it's the right shoulder to you. That is the left shoulder. Uh, it comes up, left shoulder, puts in a head, comes down, retest the 200, High probability, comes up, let me do another one, clone it for you, and we put in another shoulder, head, left shoulder, right shoulder. Once it breaks, now let me draw this, and then I'll come back in a month, I'll be like, oh, hey, how'd it play out? Once you break that, that's the that's the neckline right there, uh, you can then short it again. Continue to make money, well, actually, they would be that much, from there to there, down there. And guess what? You'd be right back in that channel once again. So when the entire, everything is burning down, please take advantage of it. Make your digits go higher. That's what I showed you when we were, when, when we got the, the lockdowns and all that, I'm like, oh my gosh, the s and is above the 200. Let's swing trade this up. And, and market went up. People made a whole lot of money. We dropped below. I'm like head and shoulders. Oh, we're below the 200. Let's make money on the way down. Now we're like confused. <laughs> That's okay. You could, you're, we're ready. You're not too early and you're not too late to the party. So get ready. Learn about this stuff. Take advantage of what I have to offer. And I will see you tomorrow because I work every single day of my life because I love doing it and I love you guys. Thank you. Happy Easter.